to city. I miss, I, I used to live on Gwen's Falls in Baltimore. So it was like on the third story, you hear everything, everything you did and didn't want to hear. Hey, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to another exciting episode of Meet the. I am Troy Rawlings. And today, usually we do kind of a generic interview. We take things we don't, unless it's something really particular that, a, that a, one of our guests has to talk about, a show or something. We don't usually um, we don't usually date it, but today I'm gonna let you know we're doing this broadcast in March of 2020. Anybody that's in the United States or anywhere around the world realize that this year, 2020, we've been previously dealing with the the hint of this pandemic coming, and now it's worldwide, widespread, hitting the United States. Um, cities and states have shut down to try to avoid the spread of the coronavirus strand COVID-19. And I say that because coronavirus, human coronavirus has been around for, for years. Most of you, you turn around a disinfectant, can you see human coronavirus is something that they try to kill amongst one of the 99% of the viruses that it <laughs> kills. Um, so long story short, pandemonium panic has been breaking out left and right, all over the place. and one of the things that happen, people going to the stores and they're not just buying out canned goods and water, toilet paper has been null and void. People have been taking toilet paper like there's a diarrhea epidemic. And <laughs> so uh, about a year ago, a close friend of mine, Eartha Harris, told me about our guest. <laughs> and I'll call him the toilet paper guy. Toilet paper plug, toilet paper connect. Well, really, bathroom tissue is a higher quality. So, <laughs> but also all the essentials you may need. And something that some people may have never heard of auto ship, having it actually sent to you automatically without having to worry out and go anywhere. You can have 100 rolls of toilet paper sent to you monthly. And the man who founded this company, the key founders of this company, is Brother Kamos Muhammad. What's going on, brother? How are you? Greetings, brother. Greetings to you and the family. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here. Yeah, yeah. We had a little technical difficulty earlier, but we talked about so much stuff. I'm excited. And to, to start you off, of course, the information to get your orders will be in the information on YouTube. IGTV is in the wording. Um, if you mention Mitha and Troy Rawlings, um, they'll take special care of you. <laughs> but um, but make sure you mention and and but we're not just going to talk about getting you products and commodities. We're going to talk about the business side of this. This brother goes around the country and now the world teaching people how to be distributors, how to have their own business uh, in an area that's essential. Like a lot of times you hear companies starting businesses and, oh, I'm selling this coffee or oh, I'm doing prepaid legal. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But we're talking about the essential things that we need as a, as a human race. And um, so let's get right into it. We'd like to get into the meet the Brother Kamos, how did you, where did you come up with this idea? Or where did this originate from? What made you think about this entity, th these businesses? Yes, sir, Brother Troy. I, I want to first, of course, give praise to the Most High and the ancestors for uh, blessing myself, my family, uh, all of those who have been a part and parcel to in any way, shape or form of the development of Freedom Paper Company uh, as we know it today. Um, that's a very good question. Uh, and, and actually what happened was there was another great upheaval um, that took place. People might remember it. It was called the Great Recession. <laughs> and um, I've been a business person for a, a long number of years. And uh, I had done very well prior to the Great Recession, but lost an enormous amount of money in the Great Recession. I was forced to kind of go back to the drawing board and in prayer and so forth and begin to, to study a number of things. Um, this was it, it, just out of the Million Man March anniversary, the 10 year anniversary, mm -hmm. where there was the forming of what was called uh, the Million Moors Movement. Uh, in the development of nine ministries out of the NOI. And one of those ministries was called the Ministry of Trade and Commerce. 
And what we began to do is we developed in, in sorts a think tank of business persons who began to look at um, what the real situation was uh, for African people, black people uh, in America, but not only here, really throughout the world. What, what really is our economic situation, in other words? We right. hear a lot that we need businesses. Uh, that's very true. Uh, but the situation for us as a people is much dire than just needing businesses. And what we found is that wherever we look all over the planet, that we as a people don't really control anything in terms of industry. Uh, so even where we have nation states um, like Nigeria or Jamaica, for example, um, we don't necessarily control the economic infrastructure or uh, of those nation states. So, for example, Nigeria does not fully control its oil industry. Jamaica, uh, in terms of its distribution of its natural resources, um, it is controlled not necessarily by Jamaicans, but by outside influences. And so... Um, we knew we had to do something. So we started looking at the approach, not just from a business standpoint, but from an industry standpoint. And we looked into the paper goods industry. And what we found was during the Great Recession that the paper goods industry, although there were banks, uh, insurance companies and other types of businesses failing, the paper goods industry continued to grow. Um, by something like 2.7%, even in those lean years, it continued to grow. And we didn't see any of us really in the industry, in, in particular as manufacturers, but even as distributors, um, there's only a handful of, of, of black owned companies that are actually what we might call major distributors in this industry. And therefore we knew we, we had to get involved. That was the origin of how Freedom Paper Company comes into existence. So, and I, I want people to understand this because I have people from all over the world and every race, you know, I'm of the, I'm of the sort that we're all, there is one, we're like, like, uh, what is, um, uh, Bill Nye, the science guy said his, at uh, a commencement speech, he's like, scientifically folks, there's one race, the human race. Um, but as long as there's race, there'll be racism. And a lot of people don't realize as long as we separate the separation, some people who may be watching this, don't know the plight of African-American people, people of African descent who were brought to this country via slavery, what happened. They don't understand um, what happened after the Emancipation Proclamation and Lincoln was killed. And the, they said, ah, let's, we got to hold off on that 40 acres in the mill thing. How about we just start a bank and you can work for your own thing? And then the guy who started the bank sold the money. They tried to bring in Frederick Douglass. And there's a lot of history that goes on. So people, like you said, People don't understand that anytime there's a depression or recession, the people at the lower rung get it the worst. So when Brother Muhammad, and I'm, I'm just breaking the little history down in seconds, because we could we could take a whole, we, and we will, we, we could take a whole other thing and do it, we will, because it's necessary. But so when Brother Muhammad talks about African-American people and why it's so essential for us in our community, especially African-American men, African-American fathers, um, women, we're seeing amazing diversity now in this time. In what better time? Because as we know, when there's a recession, when there's a, and, and, and though we're not in a recession or a depression as, of other sorts, the country and the world is at a standstill. And this, like Brother Muhammad started, you know, this company started before now. They did the studies already. They were already prepared. And now, He's, I talked to him, he's like, Troy, let's try to get this interview in a day. But between this time and this time, because I got about 50 calls to make from the time I get up at three in the morning to, the, you know. <laughs> but it, this is the key time for those that are looking for a business. Voila. Uh, for those that want to know how you can make sure your family is covered when it comes to quality goods. And he broke down some things. Um uh, we mentioned the Million Man March. Actually, in 2020, this is the 25th anniversary of the Million Man March. Some people were like, oh, well, I don't support, I didn't support Farrakhan, I don't support. It wasn't about that. It was a, a phenomenal event that brought men together. And it was more than just African-American men that came out. It was, it, was, it was a phenomenal piece. But one of the key factors was to try to build a contingency of economic growth, success, and foundational things 
that would help uplift our community out of some of the poverty states, out of some of the plain, you know, it's, it's, it's people in the poverty line is, is different now. You know, they, they if you're making $50,000 a year in certain areas, they're like, mm, that ain't gonna do it. You, you're struggling. So after all your research, after everything you did and um, coming forth now in this time, what is, <laughs> What's your mentality at this time now? It, it's, you kind of explained it because you did the research and said, oh, well, during the a, doing a Great Depression or recession or whatever thing was going on, this is the company that, this is the thing that continued to go up, a commodity like this. Um, what are you seeing? Because you had to, you, you talked a little bit about it earlier. You had to, you knew it was going to be more than just, okay, we can't just do toilet paper. So how did you bring it together? And what did you do? How did you reach out to people? Well, what has happened is uh, when we first launched the company uh, early in 2011, we launched with our foundational product, which is the Freedom Brand Bathroom Tissue. Um, we bathroom. thought about it's toilet paper. Absolutely. <laughs> you can use it on a, this. When it's those those other here. guys have toilet paper. Freedom has bathroom tissue. Uh, <laughs> and just quickly, what, what we, what, while we do that and we differentiate ourselves, there are multiple reasons, obviously. But number one, um, our product is a grade A recycled product, which we say is eco-friendly and people-friendly. Eco-friendly because we're not um, killing more trees and destroying the planet in that sense. Uh, this is grade A recycled paper, which means that it, it, it doesn't have a high pollutant quality to it, if you will, to put it in layman's terms. Uh, and people-friendly because it doesn't have um, high uh, content of the chemical product called dioxin which is actually cancer causing. Uh, and many people don't know that the bathroom tissue that they may be using uh, could be leading and aiding toward them actually getting cancer. If we think about our skin as uh, so in fact, we, if, we, if, we, if we're regular, <laughs> then we're using bathroom tissue quite a bit. So um, this is very important. So what we were able to do is bring to the marketplace a high quality product, uh, two ply 500 sheet roll, which in, in 2011, there weren't many companies selling a 500 sheet roll at that time. The average sheets uh, on a roll was something like 300 sheets per roll. Uh, we came into the marketplace giving people a high quality product with more um, product for your money. Uh, and we've maintained that ever since uh, even now, certainly there are companies that are exploiting the situation, but we are not. Uh, we continue to sell basically at uh, the same prices. In fact, Troy, um, we care about the community and people so much. And of course, we're in business. We, we have to make money <laughs> to stay right. in business. Uh, but uh, we, we created what we call the new economic paradigm. So it's not just about making money but it's about empowering communities, our local communities, about creating jobs. It's about changing the dynamics and the ecosystem that we currently see into one that the general public benefits from. So um, Freedom Paper Company is definitely doing those things. Now, we grew from the essential product of bathroom tissue, our foundational product, to five major categories of product today. Um, we have office supply, we have janitorial goods or cleaning supplies, et cetera. We have um, food service products like uh, cups and knobs and forks and spoons that restaurants and cafeterias use. Uh, we have the paper goods, obviously, uh, which in, are inclusive of paper towels, napkins, facial tissues, and bathroom tissue, of course. And then we have personal care products um, like your soap, your toothpaste, your mouthwash, your laundry detergent, your fabric softener. And all of the products that uh, we manufacture ourselves or our affiliate companies manufacture um, are products that don't have the general poisonous compositions that you might find in the marketplace. So our laundry detergent doesn't have the high enzyme, uh, enzymes in it that actually can cause skin problems. The fabric softener doesn't have the quat that uh, could be harmful to your immune system. Um, we, we, and et cetera, so our, two, our deodorants don't have aluminum and on and on. So we're selling products that are actually good for people. Uh, and they're being made by companies that are local companies. Um, and so we're, we're improving the economic environment everywhere in what we're doing. 
I love it. I love it. And um, Brother Muhammad was just talking about, we were talking about websites. We, 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 this is great. It's been a great morning of conversation and, and, and dialogue. And I'm, I'm ac actually excited to soon uh, bring Brother Muhammad here for one of our Business Life and Love brunches so he can speak. But well, we'll be doing a lot more of these. But at a time such as this, I wanted to make sure that we got you on and right in the right in the thick of things, because I just started something called Good News as well. And this is really good news because we can we at a time when social media is so prevalent, at a time where we have an eye to the whole world, people are inundated. I saw my brother Quest Love from The Roots recently say, he said, I don't do a lot of negative stuff, y'all, but get away from the TV. Get your kids away from the news. Enjoy your family. Don't get caught up in the panic and pandemic because worry does nothing. Um, preparation does everything. Um, so it's it's very key at a time like this. I, I like the fact that you, we was like, man, we realized our website wasn't up to par. I was like, good. Because <laughs> some people, you know, they have the same website from five years ago. And like, oh, we're fine. And you're like, you're really? Are you really fine? When Facebook and companies like that, they have coders daily working to improve everything. Um, are people able to track for the business side? Uh, how, how, how are people able to track sales and what's going on with the company and what's giving back? Are you, are you starting to release more of that information? I know for your for your business associates and the people you train who, who are distributors, I know they have information on because they're getting it directly in. How are people able to see what's happening with Freedom Paper Company and what you're doing with the community or sales? Is, is that stuff available for people? Well, we've been promoting you know, our activity uh, over social media pipelines and, and et cetera for years. Uh, we'll continue to definitely do that. Um, shows like, like this one here, uh, are essential. Make sure your microphone isn't covered. Uh, sure. Let me see. No, you're good. You're perfect now. Okay. Um, shows like yours are essential to to make sure that the word gets out about us. Um, certainly, doing what's going on right now, uh, many people are finding out about us. I've had the opportunity to actually talk to customers. Um, some of them admittedly said, hey, you know, I did know about you five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had it brought you them. He doesn't hold that against us. <laughs> yes, He's yes. like, it's all right, brother. <laughs> so, um, That's 12. Uh, uh, but, <laughs> to, to your point with, with uh, and, I, and I have to give kudos to, to our sister, Eartha Harris, uh, yes. for both setting this up, but also because we've been promoting this auto ship program for about two years. Mm. And uh, she made the point in telling people that she's been telling them to get on auto ship with Freedom Paper Company, because if you were on auto ship, you wouldn't have been worried about getting your paper products right now. No. <laughs> they would have been you, coming have, to you. You'd be giving them away to people because you'd be getting, you know, you can actually go in there and I looked at, I loved it. It was like 20, 90, even 90 rolls at a time. You know, you can't order 90 rolls at a time Anyway, and the prices for now, the prices are phenomenal. And um, uh, I'm just excited. I'm just excited about it because I, I see um, I see the phenomenal opportunity this is for anyone who wants to get involved. Um, like I said, we could talk for hours. I'm going to I know you got to get back to it. I'm going to do it. But I want to get all your information. How can people get in touch with you? Right now, somebody's looking at this right now and say, OK, look, <laughs> I know my, I know some of my Burbank moms are like, ah, forget all that. How do I get the toilet paper? <laughs> you know, so uh, how can people get in touch with you, contact you, of course, for product and also for business purposes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So um, the website is www.freedompapercompany. That's very important. Freedompapercompany.com. Uh, you can reach out to us there. We have a customer service phone number, which is 800-606-1250. Uh, 800-606-1250. Uh, an alternative number is 443-542-5845. 
Uh, I do want to tell people that obviously, as uh, all these things are going on, we like um, a lot of companies like ours are being flooded uh, with people with questions. And of course, people want to buy. We, we certainly thank you and, and are appreciative of uh, people finding out and coming to us. We do ask for your patience <laughs> and, uh, and, and getting back to you in some cases. Please look at the alerts on the website, look at our shipping policy. Um, a lot of people, you know, are used to this or that based on wherever they shopped at previously. Uh, every company has its own shipping policy. This will help with a lot of um, tension that new customers may have because they, they don't know how we operate. Um, and of course, during this time, they might not get an immediate response per se. Uh, but if you look at the shipping policy and the alerts, we're keeping everybody up to date on uh, our function and, and what's going on. The good news is we still have stock. <laughs> we right, haven't right. run out. Um, but of course, we're fulfilling each order as it comes in. Um, we had, of course, the staff that we had and, and et cetera. But we were really, Brother Troy, blessed because we were sort of prepared. Um, we've been building the company now for 10 years. Uh, we were sort of pre prepared for something like this. Something like this happened in a smaller way years ago, and we weren't prepared then. But after that, we kind of uh, built up the ship, so to speak, to be able to uh, maintain the stress of an environment like this. This, of course, is unprecedented. Um, nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow with what's going on. So uh, we're continuing, though, to operate to fulfill orders, to get customers what they need. Uh, and, and of course, as you mentioned, we're doing business development. I want to, do, I want to mention um, that we are actually building a business in the city of Newark in conjunction mm. with uh, the mayor there, uh, the Honorable Ross Baraka, uh, mayor of the city of Newark. We are building um, a company called Newark Paper Company. And nice. that company is an employee-owned business. Um, that we are proud to be a part of the uh, development of that. Um, this is this is all in hand with what we call the new economic paradigm, where we're creating industry and businesses that people benefit from directly. Um, so this, this is again an employee-owned reality there, and fortunately, it's it's open uh, at the right time because <laughs> people oh, ignore the bathroom tissue, <laughs> so it's there. Newark, New Jersey. The Newark uh, Paper Company. Newark Paper Company. Newark, Newark Paper, Paper Company. Company. NPC. NPC. Look, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. And I have to say, for all those, for all those wondering, I, I thank uh, all the women who are staying tuned because you see two Carmel brothers, the bald head Carmel thing. I'm telling you, we run in business. It's not the Steve Harvey out here trying. <laughs> this is the future. This is the future. Get used to it. <laughs> Yes, brother yes. Muhammad, I appreciate you, brother. This is phenomenal. This is great. And don't forget, check them out. Free the Paper Company. If you're on Instagram, um, go and follow them on Instagram right now. Freedom under Freedom Paper Company. Freedompapercompany.com. Send in your orders. Don't forget, if you mention Meet the Troy Rawlings, they will really take care of you, even though they take care of everybody. But just make, make sure you mention Meet the Interview Troy Rawlings. And uh, a lot of great things to come. Thank you, brother. Thank you for taking time out. Yes, sir, brother. Thank you. Thank you, family. And we look forward to serving you continually. All right. Talk to you soon. All right.